Man upgrades first ever voice controlled blowjob machine activated by the words finish me. That's <laughs> <laughs> Stick around, make a sound, there's more dumb people town. Hey townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Town. Population you. Population Cross. David Cross, welcome Mr. to the David show. David Cross. How are is, you, it, is it just me or is it, uh, am I the mayor and the Yes. The mayor you elects. You are the comptroller. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interim. More the of an interim. Al- the alderman. Well, this Money's. is a return for you to the town. Max you have checker. been here. The X X G A X G A. I do like that. The bursar. Mm-hmm. Um, no, you did this uh, during the pandemic. You were in your oh, yeah. uh, audio. Did, we, studio. we zoomed it. We zoomed yeah. it. Yeah, so much yeah. more fun to be in person. A bit. No, I I disagree. I would you, like, really? you would rather would be in the woods. Rather You'd rather be, be at home. I would much rather be home. <laughs> well, we could more come fun there. for us. Are you kidding? We could come we're there. In, we're in Burbank. We can put you in that studio over there if you I want. Know, that's not going to help. <laughs> that doesn't help. He wants to be in his <laughs> I comfort. I want to be home. Okay, fair. So my question, miles away. my question to you is, do you believe that even in the time from when you did it in your comfortable confines of your home to here, that the world has gotten dumber in that small of a period of time? Have we accelerated how dumb it's become? Yeah, I don't think it's exponentially dumber. I think mm-hmm. it's uh, increasingly dumber. I don't think it's uh, smarter or more No, we're on a rickety ramp way. of dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're like the roller coaster is lurching forward. We're a backyard ramp. It's more of a backyard built like ramp we of built dumb. it. Yeah, yeah or a carny. And the together. dumb is getting louder, I feel. It is, there is like, that dumb is, is being the prevailing voice. I just, I think it's, uh, it's only louder because it's dumber, meaning there's more numbers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yes, uh, yes. I mean, you can hope for people dying off. I mean, yeah. I do on a daily basis. We do basis, on a daily I basis, too. People die. Yeah, I just do. And, and maybe stop spawning, but, you know. <laughs> you can mm-hmm. hope for... Um, people to be barren and you can hope for people to die sure. and with that let's jump into a or first read a book or read, <laughs> read a book yes, yes. No. Yeah. i think the other two would happen those first. those are sure. like more viable yeah yeah so shall we get into a dumb story yeah, we'll yeah, talk yeah. about dave's got a new uh stand-up special my friend derek says hello oh thanks so much our friend derek our mutual friend yes derek. we'll tell yeah. derek i said hello back i don't have to you just did damn it very nice okay that was very dirty well, now he has to listen <laughs> now derek you gotta listen to this you ready for this yes. story number one comes to us from our hometown of st louis missouri St. Louis father and son Pokemon Go team. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, no, you can be I. a team with. I didn't. Can well, you I'm be? Sure a, you I don't even it. know what Pokemon Go is. Explain po- it. Pokemon Augmented Go. Augmented reality. Pokemon Go is yes. You you. And oh, the initial thing where you see you put on the or you have your phone, phone. and then you phone see. and then they pop up wherever yeah, you a, are. That's the, how it started, right? Right, and yeah, you yeah. and you flip that. a little ball to catch it. And you go to certain places where like hot you know, slower as though you don't know exactly how this works. And you I like that it. people were. Well, like I did this. it. A, hey, I hey, have, hey! I think it's a pretty cool thing. I I mean, anything that gets I've, people out and around, I'm happy for. I remember. I think I was on tour when that first Blew started getting happening, big. and I didn't know why people were like giggling, and and there'd be like four, five, six mm-hmm. people, and they'd mm-hmm. have their phones, and then I it w- was happening so frequently, and then I was like, what's going on? And also, I kind of quickly sussed out like oh this is a it's a game culture right. thing yes, right. i didn't yes. know if it was a game but it was something like right. that yeah. and then somebody explained it and i was like that sounds pretty cool oh it's any sort of like role-playing game or uh, i think like it's fun. just the game. concept of everybody it's like a scavenger hunt mm-hmm. right total 100%. scavenger hunt so, and my cool. son was way way into it like super into it we I'm would go it. to the santa monica pier all the time which i would never go to the santa monica pier but that was a pokemon go hot spot right where you could bed. just be catching left and right and i love that you could have been a father and son team with your son here i probably not because i'm terrible but you were a team if if that's the way though you're identified in a newspaper article that you are a father and son pokemon Pokemon go team right that's the first way they just in the nature of doing it you're a trainer you have your pokemon you train them i was a driver now uh (laughs) how and i say this i'm not trying to be funny just complete uh, ignorance but how does it uh, how, how do you, is it a matter of like the amount of things you catch or do they have values or so what? They each how do you have, have values. Definitely have values. So the, there These are, are all great questions. Great <laughs> questions. <laughs> and I would hate for you to try to be funny on this podcast, but <laughs> <laughs> they are little, each one, the rarity of the, of the Pokemon. They're kind of like NFTs. It's basically like an <laughs> NFT. But, so but if did, it's, so I, I would assume 
that not everybody can see the same. Otherwise, you would follow other people and just go, there it is. So everyone it. can see the same. They, yeah. they all are finding the same in so, each location. So why don't the... The game program, the people program into each location, certain ones at certain times. So once the 50 get found in this no, no, no. area, they, people can still, if you go to that area, you can get it, keep get your getting it and getting it. But once you get it, I think in your game, then you can't get but it again. Wouldn't there be almost like a, like a, <laughs> a walkthrough for a game you'd play, mm -hmm. you know, on, on yeah. uh, Xbox or PlayStation or something. Wouldn't there be like, a list you just go on the internet and go oh, oh there's 14 over here at the pier and you go underneath and go that there's is, the hamburger yeah. thing. and then they have gyms where you can the ones that you've caught and you've trained and built up to like higher wait, levels wait 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 <laughs> there's a like gym catch so like, yeah. catch across, this is like modern slavery yes. so like a, the house across the street could be designated in maps uh, to be a gym just that location yeah no gym. The house there so you train them to well once you go to the gym then you fight the ones you've trained against other people. Oh, this is so far and beyond level. Yeah, it's it was, deep. And no, it's, can, it's a whole world. It is an entire world that you are training. So these cute little things are building up like solid mass muscle and learning Taekwondo yes. and, and learning stuff. to, to it's like, like futuristic yeah. Japanese cockfighting. You're raising a tiny little fighter thing to wow. fight in the back. No, that was part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. part of it. It's all I thought it was a cute thing you did with your kid. <laughs> well, father That's and son starts. Pokemon go team catches assault convictions. Oh my God. <laughs> so, so they got in a real fight with people <laughs> over Pokemon go. We're going to get into it. Sent in by professor Demerita at Ann. C. McCarthy. Thank you, Ann. Yeah, I yeah. This is maybe the first time this person is Hello, Ann. Welcome. Okay, so this takes place, like we said, in St. Louis, so we uh -huh. kind of know some of the areas when it, where it went down. All okay. right. Brian. Kirkwood. So, uh, so I'm sorry to interrupt. Other people are listening and watching this. This is not just the four of us. Oh, other people Live? Will. No. Not live, but they will eventually. No, but... Yeah. Yeah. So people listen to this. Uh -huh. To I, our podcast? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Just three okay. dumb news stories that are <laughs> comedically broken down. <laughs> so I love how surprised. I love, I now love, I'm curious what you thought it was other, the first time. Meaning this isn't just for us. This isn't just for the four later. of us. Other people are I mean, strangers. People you haven't. I love that you would have just done it if it was just the four of us <laughs> with That's microphones. Out here. Yeah, with my. Out here. <laughs> so I promote. I'm promoting my <laughs> new stand-up special to three people at a time. Very political yeah. door to door of It's you. very I mean, guys who would have bought it and watched anyway, it. Anyway. We would have done it anyway, but you just you didn't have to come here. And we're already fans yeah, buying already got it. Our so old school, man. I'm doing it in person, <laughs> knocking doors. Knocking, knocking on doors, doors, pressing the flesh. Mm -hmm. So the best part about this, and we'll guess this later, sure. is how old these people are. The father and son. Father and son. I say father and son, yeah. and you get an image in your mind. And we'll I want to say 80 and 60. Yes. Okay, fine. <laughs> Convicted Wednesday of beating up a Pokemon competitor in a <gasps> brawl that all landed in the lake in Kirkwood Park. Now, we've been to Kirkwood. It's a nice part of St. Louis. Sure. They would have a pumpkin patch in the around uh -huh. Halloween. You're saying it's, uh, it's uh, upper middle class folks, probably. I mean, it's yeah, it's yeah. Like a I cute, would... quaint little area. That it's like you... old St. Louis, kind of so like white, very white, very white. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. circle square. Okay. St. Louis <laughs> County <laughs> jury found Robert Metuizi and his son Angelo Metuizi. Who it, we're going to find out how they are guilty of felony of third degree assault. All right. Uh, so this is assault. Wait, wait, you just told me that it there isn't a finite supply. That if you get your thing, you've got your so thing. So these guys might not know how it works. You guys uh, explain how it works. More than a day of testimony reveal. Know. More than a day of testimony. Meanwhile, yeah. someone out there who is an enormous Pokemon well, Go fan, them having to listen to, to us fumble through the reality of like it, the, the worst they thing ever. Are losing their minds That's right now. Right. It's Jason, bad. if you want to yeah. point fingers. Point it's all it's me. <laughs> Randy had nothing to do with it. More than a day of testimony. So whatever happened revealed in all this testimony, uh -huh. a long-running virtual feud between two teams. So this is something that bubbled over before. So these two have gotten into it. Teams. So they, they might fight at the gym. Teams of Pokemon Go players turned into a real-life battle captured on video in June of uh, 2018. It's now coming to light right now. Mm -hmm. At issue in the fight, one Pokemon gym. You are right. See? This is at issue. Pokemon Go is an augmented reality smartphone game that allows users to hunt, capture, and do battle with virtual monsters by visiting real-life locations. Busy places like Kirkwood Park become coveted hotspots known as gyms that teams can claim. Dan, you did a wonderful job of explaining I just this. did that one part. The Matuzis were on one. Oh, wait a minute. Back up for a second. Sure. Uh, yeah. I'm being serious. Yeah. Please. So, it, it, 
so an area can be claimed as, as a, gym, a gym, which yes. means nobody else can claim it. Well, the uh, programmers designate which areas are gyms. Is a gym and which is safe zone. Yes. Where somebody can't fight with you. If you're in the gym, somebody could challenge you and your Pokemon to a fight. Yeah, and a gym can be the Dunkin' Donuts. That's right. right. Exactly. Precisely. I got you. Precisely. I got you. In this as, case, as the so, so was, was the issue that they were in the safe zone and somebody said, oh, We're uh-huh. going to find out. <laughs> All right. and I, the issue could have been that they're just crazy hotheads who are like, This is where we're This is not a good game gym. for people who have short tempers. The Matuzis were on one team vying for the park, while the victim who went by the gaming name of Sammy the Bull was on another a mafia a, a, ma- a famous <laughs> Sammy the mafia Bull hitman. Right. right a mafia hitman that's how you're <laughs> that's his intimidation I mean, level when it comes that to is like a pretty out. bold stance when uh, you excuse co- me uh, <laughs> that is Sammy the Bull <laughs> The victim testified that an argument over the right to claim the gym escalated when the younger Matusi... I think if you win the gym, you, it's your gym. And then when other people come to the gym, I, I they see. can now, that makes you. This is starting to make more sense. Me right. Too. Same. I'm in the escalated same when the younger Matusi started punching him, sparking a brawl that caused both of them to fall into about how many... How, fall how many feet into Walker Lake in the park? Take a guess as to how, how many far feet down they fell into this Why, lake. Is this a I'm going to go... Nine inches. Nine inches. Love it. <laughs> what do you think? Ten feet. What do you think? Like eighteen feet. I think they, think they were way down. Like an embankment. Is there a bridge? I don't know. They just they fell. Get your answers in townies. They fell uh, about five feet into the walker. Okay. Like, the elder Matuzi then jumped in after his son. Like you saw the video yeah. of the guy whose puppy got eaten by an alligator, or like, and he's in and there the fighting the thing. Yeah. This is what this guy did. He saw his son go down. I mean, what what we wouldn't do for our kids? You Wait, go, did an adult man fight his son or a kid? You've got to wait. We'll get to the ages at the How end. Does oh, it should become... we just shut up and let you read the whole thing? Okay. No, no, no. Go ahead and say it. No, but do you, you want to get... interrupting our interruption. <laughs> do you want to guess the ages right now, or do I was going to wait until the I end? I don't care. I mean, whatever you Keep want, going. Man. We can I'm, get... I'm with Jason on the old, like the shockingly older side. Okay, so <laughs> let's, let's guess you the ages right crossed. now. Let's do it right now. How <laughs> I old do you, told you what I How old do you think the dad is, and how old do you think the kid I'm is? I'm going 80, 60, and I want that. 80, 60. I know that's wrong. I know that's wrong. I'm going to go... 14 and 44. 14 and 44. What do you think it is? I mean, I'm, go with Jay. I'm going to go... I'm going to go 18 Ooh. and... Six. <laughs> I'm going to go 18 and 39. 18 and 39. Okay. Get your answers in because the father uh-huh. is 75 years old. <laughs> oh, my God. And the son is... Angelo is 35 years old. That's it. <laughs> 75 and 35. It, this, Wait, this 75 year old man jumped in the lake after his son. First of all, kudos Look, to him. Son of a bitch! Mother! Son, help me! <laughs> now I'm in trouble. Oh, We're no. in a rip. We're in a rip. It's a lake. Dad. This is a guy who waited till he was Stand 40 up. to have a child. So yeah, his son is 35. Yeah. Right, so prosecutors well, Andrew, been his ninth. It yeah, could have been his. Ninth. True too. He just wanted to do something with, <laughs> with his this son. child. This is the this one the child he thing... couldn't bond with. That's right. All the other nine he could connect with. Prosecutors Andrew Wren and Joanna Brueggemann played jurors a video capturing the fight in the lake, showing both Matuzis reportedly, repeatedly punching the victim and holding the man down in the water. Wait, so they're all in the water? They're now everybody's oh fighting. Oh my god! The footage was taken by a bad... uh, son of a. Now you got to <laughs> deal with two Matuzis. <laughs> Matuzis does sound like a hockey family, like the Matuzis. Oh. They're all his shirt over his head and start punching him. And so the man who is taking the footage doesn't stop shooting the footage, just says, shouts, get away from each other right now. (laughs) Did it work? Did that work? That usually works. (laughs) A younger voice can be heard saying, dad, don't get involved. So the person who's filming filming. is with his son and his son. They're in a Pokemon Go Go filming father-son. They cut the thing off before the kid said, Now's our chance to get, <laughs> get the, the gym. gym. <laughs> While these idiots yeah. are fighting, let's go get the Unless gym. Unless they're in a Pokemon Go filming league. The father's son. The fight sure, ended yeah, yeah, yeah. when the bystander finally ran over to the men and forced them to separate. So he had the power to do this all along, but just wanted Wait, to film it Sometimes you don't bit. know you have the power within you until you're... Right. In, I mean, yeah. maybe he this found is like the power thing. of whatever Pokemon yeah, he had found. Sure. A Phil Collins in yeah. the air tonight. Right, right. Remember, he watched some other guy watch some guy drown. Which means that he watched him drown, too. You watched a guy drown. If you watched the, another guy watch a guy drown, yeah, you right. watched a guy drown. Yeah, you but his focus was on the other guy. You're just watching this guy I'm not kink shaming you get off how you get off 
whatever. <laughs> Phil wants to spank it. Well, that's oh, up to him. Another person <laughs> watch someone that drown. That is fine. Then, you know, yeah. look, you do what you got to do. The victim was left with some facial abrasions, some traumatic eye injury, broken fingertip, broken fingertip. Mm, that hurts. And a detached fingernail. I, did that need to be reported in this thing? That's, that's the thing where you're like, all right, uh, you, don't, you don't have to report the detached finger. That's what the cop that's looks at you and goes, little... he goes, why don't we just round down? <laughs> We're wait, turning. Wait, let's just, uh, fingertip is good. We don't have to get into the. You know, the broken fingertip sounded so. Let's just blanket it, go finger injury. I didn't know. Uh, covers everything. I, I didn't. Why, you don't have to put scratch my tushy. You don't, please. So I have, okay, it's fine. It's right. so A strong. tiny tushy scratch. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Both Matus testified on their own defense in the trial. The defense attorney, Jeffrey Rath, Dave Rath's brother, maybe, maybe I don't maybe, know, we hope. argued that they are not the aggressors in the melee. I didn't want to be in the water, the father, Robert Matusi, told the jury. I didn't want this kid. <laughs> Wait, don't say, that. don't say that. that's a bad. Yeah. Don't. Right. When prosecutors remind him that he jumped in to join his son, he replied, when you're, this happened a couple of years ago, sure, he's yeah, 75 yeah. now. When you're 71 and you get punched in the head, you don't know what you're doing. It's a great quote. I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, that's true I mean, of a lineage, really. Yeah. <laughs> he should sue N- Nintendo. Right, right. Whoever's doing the exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is Pokemon? He, they, they make it too good. You want it. You need the gym. Mm-hmm. They're making me love it too much. He admitted on the stand that he did hold the victim's head underwater. So this to me is like, so I did, you know, I held him underwater. Yeah, a little obviously, way. I was trying to drown him. But he yeah. said, and this is his defense, I just wanted to dunk him. That's what he said? Yeah, I just wanted to dunk him. What? That's what a and dunk you know he said it in like the like. That's li- a fun dunk. <laughs> We've all had fun dunks. I just you, know, you know when you dunk we, someone and you wait for their final bubble to come up. It's, it's, it's it's a fun, it's a a we would have chicken fought. We are we're already a team. <laughs> Teams are established. I love the son Angelo Matuzzi testified that he never wanted to fight. I was just trying to put my Pokemon in the gym, he testified mm-hmm. to a bunch of jurors who were like, we've never we heard don't, of this what shit. What the fuck yeah. are you no talking idea. about? No clue what you're doing. Just trying to put him in the gym. He later reflected, it was Father's Day. It was Father's Day. This That's what you do. You they, take yeah, your yeah. dad out for a Pokemon <laughs> for a fight, hunt. for a fight in a lake. Down at the lake. <laughs> oh. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, did we find out the ages of the other people who other are fighting? People? We have not yet, and I don't know if but, I ever. But, get but those. Dave, you make such a great point. The, because I would love it if it's like a 35 year old guy and a nine year old <laughs> kid that would really make it a much different yeah, 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 scenario yeah, yeah. the nine year old kid is just, I, 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 I was giving him a dunk <laughs> kid needed a little dunk <laughs> but you're nine so year right kid. on father's day for the 35 year old son to make the 75 year old go to a park while he sits on a phone and just does this also like the other father and son who's there's filming no way it they're the, the same don't don't forget it's St. Louis. It is. I mean, there's there's almost no nothing good about St. Louis <laughs> or the people it attracts. I've been there several times. There's nothing. It is our hometown. We grew up but there. I can't but you really left. Argue. You we left. Did leave. We did leave. We did leave. We did leave. You left that for a reason. Can't Fair enough. <laughs> I can't argue. Can't argue about the Kirkwood area. <laughs> my, the Kirkwood my hometown Park. has everything I want except a reason. You know, this to is keep probably a great time to mention, guys. That uh, <laughs> you'll be in St. Louis. At I'll the, be in St. Louis at the Pageant at Theater. The, at the Pageant <laughs> Theater, yes. I will. Uh, part of my worst daddy in the world tour. Oh, nice. Just and by the way, that is a Pokemon gym. In the back of the bar area of the pageant is an actual Pokemon gym. I can't wait. So well, I'll set it up. <laughs> Please uh, fights are going. Go Officialdavidcross.com. <laughs> yes. You get all the... Um, all the Pokemon information. Uh yeah, that. Well, I'm going to attach that now to the right. tour sure, now that you course. mentioned it. And I've you. learned about this. Mm-hmm. So all the list of cities there that you, where I'll be performing starting on March 2nd okay. in Portland, mm-hmm. uh, and I'll get all the Pokemon gym. Information. That's right. So St. Louis, as a city, I know we have some St. Louis fans. You now have something to prove to David Cross. That's right. You, you need show to up at it. that pageant show and you be the best damn audience. Sure. You, can, you can yell at me. It's fine. Right. I don't want you to yell. No, I want. I don't them know if to... you do meet and greets, but I hope the Matuzis <laughs> show up. <laughs> I will be little... doing a meet and greet. There you go. I am. Little the baby Matuzis pool. better fucking <laughs> be there. You got pulled so up in a wheelchair. Matu- that how about the to... bystander who broke up the fight? Two of the victims, former Pokemon. Free tickets guys. for him and his right. Child. You get it. So an emergency department doctor and a Kirkwood police officer all testified for the prosecution. They all. 
all course. Great. This is clear. It's Another clear. member of the Matuzzi family, family testified for the defense about a previous run-in between two Pokemon Go teams. So this has been... The They're different. saying it's endemic it's a to long the... long-going thing. To yeah, the yeah, game. Yeah, long-going yeah, yeah. thing. When the or incident originally... at that area. That park. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this yeah. is when the incident originally Perfect happened. It Pumpkin made uh, the Fresno Bee. It even made that newspaper. Mm. Oh, God. The jury recommended... <laughs> even the Fresno, Fresno Bee. So now Fresno was aware of this? Fresno is now in... What has Fresno done with this information? Well, I think Fresno is more like, hey... Not just us. <laughs> All right, right. Hey guys, I look, know we're bad, but look, guys, somebody, look, look what's going on in Kirkwood. Up, uh, I'll do it too. Uh, yeah. The Matuzzi brothers and see what their uh, business is. M A T T E U Z Z I. To me, and I know this sounds ridiculous, but I would love it if they sold jacuzzis. That's just me. And they were they were forced into it by the rhyme. They didn't want to do it. We don't even know what we're doing. They had no choice. We don't know how to install these things, but we are forced by rhyming law. We don't have an option. So how many days uh, was the recommended sentence that the jury gave to Robert Matuzzi? How many days in jail did they recommend for having this fight on third degree assault? Right. This is a third degree assault. Uh, I mean, I don't know that stuff, but I would hope it's not more than 60 days. I was going to say What are you going to say? I'll say 30 days. I was going to say what about What are we guessing? How many, days, how many the days the jury, what was the jury sentence they recommended that they, <sighs> that he spent in jail for this He said 60, fight? I said 30. Just, can I remind you 20. that it was just a dunk? It was just a, it was me, a minor dunk. A minor dunk? With the hope that he stopped breathing underwater. <laughs> That's all it was. <laughs> minor dunk that he could close his trachea. It's really not that big. I have a p- picture of the, I don't of th- the Matuzis. Do you really? They are everything you would want them to be. <laughs> Let's see them. I got to see the Matuzis. Matu- David, I'm going to show you first because <laughs> yep. I want you to run the farthest with us. <laughs> the Matuzzi jacuzzis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right? Look at that hair on that guy. Also, <laughs> that he was forced to be a part. Yeah, you love that the who the yeah. older guy, or the younger guy, the, the older, younger guy, the younger so guy, the older guy. They're looks both like, in an unreleased season of Fargo, right? <laughs> and the guy on the left does look like the dad does look like he has made his hair a wig out of his own. Oh, hair. the other hair yeah. that fell out <laughs> mm-hmm. out of his own. Hair. He has a jacket for a place he doesn't work at anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and I, and, and I'll Aaron. tell you what. Uh, Jacuzzi salesman, not far off. Yeah, no, no that's in the wheelhouse. Off. By the way, and you just flashed that picture quickly. I can't even tell you who's the older one. <laughs> <laughs> that is what's interesting about them. That's a seventy-five-year-old uh, man with that's blonde a guy, hair. That that guy will sit when he gets a few drinks in mm-hmm. uh, and just bitch about how porn isn't the same anymore. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Right. You know. Yeah. I mean, I love Where's the, old the days. story. Where's, Where's the every, story? Why is everyone? You know, why is everyone? <laughs> they were, I don't need the goddamn. <laughs> Story. Too much story. What's too much story? I'm going to tell you this. Razors ruined porn. <laughs> like, I don't need an exterior shot of a building. <laughs> Let's get it. We don't need to establish geography. I don't need to know that they're in the art studio. I don't even right. need music. Okay. <laughs> or, or the opposite. No, I need to know they're in the op- art studio. How the, <laughs> where the fuck are they? i am lost all perspective. I don't know who she is. Who is this character now? How long has this person even been their stepdad? Did they know each other is that a real business Uh, (laughs) i need to know born today (laughs) the man is that boy i missed the music 60 days 30 days dan how much 20 i said 20 20 okay the answer they recommended that he be in jail for three days oh Oh, well that's either way father's day is ruined grown men quote uh including a man in his 70s coming to blows over childish game that they're playing is ridiculous Mm -hmm. but there was nothing funny about the injuries sustained i love that they're like it's Before not, you make a joke and everyone thinks it's yeah. funny that yeah. these guys Obviously are fighting. so humorous that you're all going to want to do this. But nothing's funny about someone who could have drowned, which actually is, a, is true. Sure. So St. Louis I think County three Prosecutor. days is a bit short. Yeah, that's short. Tiny. But this is what the prosecutor said. I thank this jury for reminding the Matuzis and our community that our parks are for play and relaxation, not violence. Agreed. Was that their point? I don't know to the say that, hey, set out to do we're that. here to make these parks. Run. I think the thing just happened spontaneously. Yeah, there you go. And so that's what it is. That is story number one down mm-hmm. in the books. Dan, I think you're second. I think I am. You're next. Well. When we come back, we will tell you guys how you can get David's new special and you will. You want to get it. Tour. We will take a break right now and you will then we download it. Tickets. No, tickets. I'm, I'm going it's out the tour. on the road. Well, the tour, but also your special, your most recent special. Can we, well, can we get Well, you could that? if you wanted to. Sure. sure. From your, from that's your website. That's on the website too, but that's older. 
Okay, it's older. I'm more concerned with the Worst tour. Daddy in the World Tour. Yeah, it's fine. Right, well, we'll it's, talk about we'll that on both. the other side of the break. David Cross is with us. It's Dumb People Talk. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the show. Uh, <clears throat> before we get to... Uh, the only thing we're going to talk about, David, which is his last special. We are, the only thing he wants us to focus on that is we need to say. Special. Simply just talk about the last special. March 7th. Uh, we will talk about his new tour. Uh, but speaking of tours, we are going to be in a couple places first. Yes. Uh, if this comes out, I believe, if this drops before what March. Fuck? You guys are... They're, they're jumping. Jumping. Yeah. Oh, no. We're jumping the gun. Yeah. Because you're the most important thing. Not we're building. Jumping, we lead up to over the... No, we open <laughs> and then we, we build. We Nobody's open. Continuing to, continuing to listen to the podcast going, when is David's When is David Cross's dates? March 2nd. When, are you going to go through every date? Nope. I want to. Right. I was going to tell you when it starts and where to go. All right. Find let's start with you then. Portland, you, March 2nd. Who's going to listen to us? Thank you. Uh, St. Louis will be in there yes, on this tour. Yes, we'll be in St. Louis. Uh and this is Worst Daddy in the World Tour. Uh, How many dates are you doing? Uh, there's going to be three legs. First leg, which is up there, is 40 uh, American cities, a couple Canadian. Then the second leg will be announced probably when this, uh, do you say airs anymore? Yeah, drops, drops, airs, drops, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Um, and they'll have a, there'll be three legs eventually, but, uh, mm-hmm. and they'll be England, more Europe. of a, I'll do Europe, and uh, but more of Canada. I'm only doing three cities in Canada right now in this first leg, but I'll do more. I'll get to Winnipeg and Regina and Edmonton and the nice. fun stuff. And, mm-hmm. uh, and then more American dates, et cetera, et cetera. Great. Hardest. Official David Cross.com. Hardest I ever laughed at a comedy special was yours. The uh, last one? No. Nope. Years and years ago, the mother Mary raped me. Oh my God. That's all. That's the first one. Yeah. I think that's the first one. It's the hardest I ever laughed yeah. at a comedy special. <laughs> um, but yeah, so beautiful. go see David Cross, everybody. I the mean, website is? Officialdavidcross.com. Just Wonderful. go. See what I, he's in a city near you and then go. We have been on the road a little bit and doing dates and stuff. And I am actually really enjoy. I feel like there's a sense of enjoyment from the audience just to be out at shows right now. So sure. you're looking for stuff to do. Please come see our friends. Live David. experiences. I think that's what we missed a ton in the last few years. And, yeah. And David, well, when, when was the last time you all went on the road? So they've been going We've been going back out, but not, we don't go. Well, I, I guess I, uh, what was the, break when covid hit what was your i did end of 2021 and then omicron delta fucked me for four months and then i went back out i had to, I, ha- I was about to go on tour which event which resulted in the last special the i'm from the future but i was going to go on tour mm-hmm. with that set and delta omicron just screwed it I shut me down from november to march and then i started and even if you're yeah, o- that was yeah. I, that was exactly i had a, yeah. i was a set to go out i think in october and had to cancel the f- i've never oh, done dude, it we were so on the we were in madison wisconsin when the world shut down yeah. we were literally in madison march, on march 9th on a thursday night and then on friday they were like i don't Crazy. think we can do these shows yeah we're like all right let's hop on a plane so and we, head back we, and we didn't do anything years. for another two year, and a, year, year and, and, and a half yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we've recently started going like one we go once a month but you guys yeah. did that great little run in alaska and you know what? i think what everybody's been waiting for is what do you guys have coming up next Oh, with, with us? Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, at the end of uh, at the end of March, we're going to be at the uh, Stand Up Live in Phoenix, and we're going to all be together at the Moon Tower Comedy, Comedy Festival, yeah. which we've done mm-hmm. with you before. Austin. It's so much fun. I remember a wonderful time. Great regi- Comedy Town. Registering mm-hmm. people to vote with you. That's which right. Was so that much was fun. awesome. That was really fun. That was great. We did some good work, and we ended up. Uh, what was the barbie? Uh, uh, Le li- 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 barbecue? Or was that where we went? No, we? it was it. We it was like a. Outdoor. Slightly outside of the city, a little, you know, slightly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there was like food trucks. And it was like, Le, not Lemoyne. There's something in. Le, oh, it was so good. Leonard I, and so, it was amazing. It was so good. I it remember that. So that good. was awesome. Good times. Good times. So I'm, we'll I'm, be there for I that. I feel bad that I can't remember the name of it. Okay. Oh, somebody will tell us. There's somebody probably will. a Pokemon gym there. And oh, um, someone is shouting at their thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone's getting into a fight or at a thing. Uh, no. So we'll be there in, in April and then uh, Minneapolis. Then we're going back up to Alaska. We had such a good time. That was really fun. Just more dates like supersclars.com. Go. It's we sort of are spacing them out. Maybe like one or going back to Ann Arbor in the fall. Of course. We'll put them all in there. DanielVanKirk.com. Oh, yeah. DanielVanKirk.com. Come see my show monthly in Houston or here in town or Moon Tower. Great. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. Yes. This was sent in by Carlene McDermott at 
she be Carly. What a lovely. Here's a headline, woman. friends. Man upgrades first ever voice controlled blowjob machine activated by the words "finish me." That's. <laughs> this. I mean, this is a long time coming. Look, this is a long time. Not that many was days like, you don't. It doesn't get brought up, but this does sound like a pitch for a Mr. Show sketch. <laughs> Now, now uh, you, you have to go back and say, or so and a guy, uh, read it again. Man upgrades, upgrades. first ever voice controlled blowjob machine activated by the words, finish me. So is the upgrade, the words, the voice finish activation. me, the voice activation. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, you, I, you, you just have to I put a, bu- so, push a I button. Mean, upgrade is, I mean, that's loosely applied here yeah. I mean, it's going to do the thing what it, what does it do once you go finish me what does it must what go changes it goes faster it, that's not sometimes that's not that is better. sometimes that might not be enough. Enough. Maybe, yeah. maybe it sometimes. looks you in the Hold eyes on. is there a <laughs> not so quickly like you want yeah. to tell it i mean finish is me there, is a little there's, there's some weird mortal combat ending and yeah, <laughs> finish me does is what could have been said in the first story if you were I don't, you know what? It could be your wife. I don't know. I've never been married, but long term relationship or new. And if you said to a person during any sort of oral pleasure, finish me, finish, finish me. me, that's, that's, that that's feels a red very, flag. yeah, pejorative. Unless it's into your kink. Not to shame, just not like, to, exactly. Also, you like, who's hear? saying, like, hey, Dave, I really love your blowjob machine. If it just had a voice <laughs> command that could have <laughs> yeah. ended it, it seems really hard to go now, push I, that I, button. I, uh, <laughs> are, you, are you up for some unsolicited, <laughs> some uh, just a yeah, pitch? just a couple notes? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Loved it. Uh, came a bunch. Uh, that was nice. Um, and I learned a bunch of things too. But about uh, myself. One one note. Uh, I kept saying "finish me," and that didn't have any effect. It was. A, I it wanted was it negligible if there wasn't, and yeah, I at all. and I kept yeah. saying "finish me," and finish I, and then I could sense that I was getting irritated, and I didn't want to <laughs> took me out of the moment. The AI, and I was like, "Fin, what? How, how, what are you?" And I'm thinking, "Oh wait, you didn't program it. <laughs> it, right. needs, it needs an upgrade." Needs this what is you're saying. Well, the here it is. issue with the chat. GPT. It's the same thing. It's never yeah. going to get. What never going to understand, gonna understand well, the, what we need. Here we go. The inventor of the world's first voice controlled blowjob robot mm-hmm. says he has upgraded his creation in protest at big tech companies. Auto. Wait, wait. This is a move of protest? I don't know. Let me keep going. <laughs> auto is, blow AI. Is defined <laughs> auto, blow. auto blow AI. AI. <laughs> a crowdfunded male sex toy. Why? What? Has the, now the people have spoken. <laughs> now <laughs> has <laughs> quote right. a downloadable blowjob library. Honey, what are you giving money to again? <laughs> I'm an investor. <laughs> I yell way too it's loud. Tax in a deductible. Way. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna I don't pay. ask you what you spend <laughs> your <laughs> money on. Why is that? Okay, he now has a downloadable blowjob library that gives users the ability to control their oral robotic experiences. That's this is what we wanted at the beginning with. As well as controlling the speed of the robot with six voice commands, including a finish me mode. Sure. Users can now browse mode. and visualize. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he, that thing What went... if you started? What if you just, whatever this thing is, like a flashlight or whatever, sure, yes. hooked I'm up to a you. mic stand that's hooked up to a, a fucking uh, generator. generator. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're like, uh, okay, here we go. Okay. Finish me. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Too much! Too fast. Whoa. I... Also, I would want to say, I don't know his name. I'll call him Kent. Also, I would be like, Kent, you know I love you. Uh, your version of Finish Me is not my no, version. No, everybody's right. version is different. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need a punch in the stomach. No, mine's no. mine's feels... a cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah. I just need to be told I'm good enough. It's a back massage. <laughs> yes. Um, you, uh, you want to take a, a gander at this guy? Yes. Okay. Is he holding the thing? He's holding the auto blow, and he's got one hand on the upgraded version of the auto blow. Okay. Yeah. And the other one, Mary goes. Peace sign. Does he look exactly oh like you? Oh my <laughs> god, that is <laughs> that is an depressing insane. As shit. Uh, that is so also depressing. Like, also, the like, look, it won't. If it's just a robot, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We need to put. So Dave, there is a. Dave, describe it, please. It's a woman's head. Oh god, that's a bummer. I know. <laughs> She's, oh. It's on an. What is this? What can only be described as an like an seventh grade AV cart. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, with, it's an with, set. with good uh, materials Nobody? there. It's got mm-hmm. like uh, wheel, it's got four wheels. It's yeah. a battle And bot. it's just like a mannequin head. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Shave, that's no sticking hair. Sticking out this very metallic right. uh, robotic thing that mm-hmm. is... Uh, uh, Two arms forward. And the, Well, it's from the forearm. They're, mm-hmm. they're on kind of... Uh, flexible, looks like bendable kind of uh, mm-hmm. metal. And if you're watching on YouTube, things. we will put this v- image up. That is well. most of the arm. That's that's just going back to one of the erector set beams. <laughs> and then the uh, more of an erection set. And then the Fuck the you. forearm and two hands, and the the head is on a pole. Yeah. And then one of the arms is holding. Uh, uh, it looks like the kind of headphones that people who uh, bring planes in and out uh, yes. Would, yes. yes or they put on and babies then, at concerts yeah or they put on babies at concerts <laughs> it, I mean it's that is fucking depressing that, that is though. insane like if you just saw that I was from, into it until you showed me the picture uh, I mean, so if you just saw that you'd be oh. like what did that so you have woman more notes. do wrong you have more notes yeah what did um, she do wrong that she's now with a head on this as well thing? as uh, oh. visuals, they, can, they can even activate the robot without speaking at all ooh so it's wow. a long just a look. By pressing a button. With I don't a look. know. Yeah, exactly. It's just like the old days. <laughs> just giving it a look. <laughs> Remote control. Here's a, here's a switch. You'll see two words. One is own, and the other is oof. And uh, depending on which. You'd like to uh, another click. Another upgrade is the user-adjustable penis gripper designed Ooh. to cater to the size-diverse population. That, isn't that so everybody? I, thought of everything. Size-diverse. Or isn't oh, everybody just Not everybody's the right same size. You know yes, but of course. It, Yes. For a blowjob? The robots. For the group? hand. There's like there's, there's a the hand, gripper. There's a there's gripper. A gripper. Oh. There's a second. But it was designed for the size. Diverse population. I don't know what that means. It just means it can have different levels of gripping. What a I size. Guess. Isn't everybody size, size diverse? It is. That's, what, what I'm getting stuck on is the idea that it was that the hand, mm-hmm. meaning the mechanical uh-huh. hand job, is developed for different. Well. The They're user adjustable, just so it's a not a uniform. It used to be thing. uniform, and now you can now it has change the adjust. Adjust. We've adjust. upgraded that too. The robots saying. creator God. Brian Sloan, one letter creator? away from alone. Mm-hmm. Brian Sloan <laughs> said these are accessible through a web app rather than an app store in protest to big text censorship. Uh, oh, stick this is the protest. It. He they won't let him put this app on to mm-hmm. uh, Google Play and yeah. Apple uh, App Store. Mm-hmm. So, uh, a Sloan said, if we self-censor sexual language in order to reach people in Apple and Google's app stores, we will only re-stigmatize the normal sexual behavior which millions of people have worked for dozens or even hundreds of years to normalize. How many times has he started that speech at a party and everyone's like, uh-huh, I'm just <laughs> going right. to go over here and get it. Brian, we know. Brian, that's We're so all, great. Brian, we already in Invested. Yeah, <laughs> Ryan. So we're the choir. I, I, I listen, heard the toilet well, is running. Look, and we I want have your jack off it. machine to work. It's not a jack off machine. It's a blowjob machine. <laughs> he, he added, speaking, speaking is the main way we express our she- sexual needs to our partners. Is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> and I am working towards a feature where, where we will speak the same way to our sexual devices. So this guy's like a month away from a manifesto. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. This um, guy is. Wait, right? so the last thing is we're, he's working on something where we will speak the same way. To our sexual devices he's as saying we do in to life, our partners. To our partners in life, yeah. he wants us to be able to have that same. same. Finish me. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Check that one. <laughs> That's done. Sloan Honey, graduated. You, so tomorrow, can you just pick up the kids and take them? It's like yes. you then reveal. Sloan all graduated them. from law school in 2005, but quickly decided he had a brighter future in the field of masturbation tech. Sure. Mm-hmm. He currently holds seven patents in the field of sex robots, and his goal is to build an army. I'm joking. A future. <laughs> <laughs> a future. Isn't that everyone's goal who does that? <laughs> a future where, quote, oral sex performed on a man by a human is indistinguishable from an experience generated by his auto blow machine. Just say you loved Judge Dread or yeah, Demolition just Man. Demolition just Man. Demolition That's Man. It. Just say just you say love, you love that movie and you loved it. it. Uh, okay, we'll get out just of here. Just say you're this. not good at meeting women. People, yeah. Yes. That I got to make you're bad at that. Yeah. This is right. weird. Change your bio to must be really willing to finish science. me. Every, you might find I, somebody. I don't know what it is. Every time I fuck <laughs> go out on a date, uh, within an hour of me mentioning that I'm making uh, robotic blowjob blow machines, machines, they get wigged out. 
<laughs> just chasing. I can't just, find somebody. I can't find my true love. <laughs> they start to clam What's up. What's up with every other person in the world except me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everyone else is the asshole. Yeah. Just putting an entire oyster into his mouth. And he's like, you like to be finished? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Finish me. Uh, I will, we'll get out of here on this. For fun. How much does the auto blow AI plus cost? Mm. If you retail, retail? yes. What is the retail price? I mean, now that you showed me the, if I, if I hadn't seen that picture. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (sighs) Now we're getting into David. Now we're getting into in a sense a little bit. What would you pay for a blow job? You know what the worst part is? Is her, her face. The, the problem with this she thing, she doesn't so seem happy about this. Unamused no. by the situation. Yeah, also, not, she is literally nonplussed. And she looks like the dude. That's yeah, she I was, was like going to say. Version David, of the dude. Without a goatee. So, but he... Are you the breaking thing. down the cost? The problem with this cart is that it, if you really love it, if it really does things... It will you, come? Okay. Yeah. No, you gotta like take it with you. Like, what yeah. luggage does it fold down? Like, like once you gotta you go love to your a pillow. pillow. It doesn't fold down. No, no. You gotta no, take, no, no. So you gotta roll that thing around the halls of a hotel with you. Also, you... it looks like you would have to stand. Yeah, no, you have to stand. Let's well, mm. kind of take something away I from it. Guess. Maybe okay. just sitting. How much down. do you think this costs? Anybody want to go? I'll go forty thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars retail. Four grand. Four I mean, G's. I don't even know. Okay. I, you can I, go last, Dan. I'm going to say $7,800. $7,800. Mm-hmm. I'll go $812.72. <laughs> the retail cost on the Auto Blow AI Plus, you're never too early to shop for Christmas, is $299. And David was right. Yeah. Was I felt right. like you were going to be you were, around you were, that. So this, is a, this is a fuck you to big tech. He's trying to make this yeah. affordable. At a price point that we all can. Guys, yeah. we all so know, everybody dude. can get finished. The, the, the regular the, guy on the street. Right, yeah. The price you know? of the blowjob has gone way up. <laughs> we need to <laughs> democratize to stick this. it to the man and then sure. finish me. All right, here's the last story that we'll get to in a second. Just give us a little take. tease. Uh, a woman who... Who fights the cops in a very unconventional way. Okay. okay. Good. I love it. Does she use a blowjob machine? Maybe. Does she say finish me? No. Nope. We'll find out right after this break. Uh, David Cross is with us. It's Dumb People Town. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to DPT. That's Dumb People Town. Um, maybe you're listening to this after you've bought tickets to see David Cross on his new tour. You Maybe be. that's part of this experience. I hope so. Yes. Official David. You're probably using a device that can get you those tickets right now. Yeah. yeah. Pick them up. Go see them if you want to see a great live stand-up Are you show. ready for my final story Let's for this damn home, thing Jay. before I have to pick up my son from basketball practice? Let's do sure. it. Sure. Woman accused okay. of unleashing bees on deputies serving an eviction notice in Massachusetts. So she's oh, a, I, read, I, I saw that headline. I didn't read the story, but well, I saw it on my... Now nah, you're going to get to... Wait, so, now unleashing, so she has an army. She's amassing bees to be like, if anybody messes with me, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm the queen. I'm like, shake it's the like, It's like Rushmore. Yeah, yeah, it is like Rushmore. Uh, this is sent by Nick, official parody at Nick Depp. Thanks, Nick. buddy. Here we go. Thanks, buddy. All right. Here we go. This was sent in a ton to us. Okay. Uh, a Massachusetts woman is facing multiple assault and battery charges for allegedly releasing a swarm of bees on a group of sheriff's deputies. Some of them. Is it wrong for me to have wanted all the bees to be released? In the shape in of an arrow? arrow. Yes. Going, going yes. at them? Yes. Get in the arrow and then look. I, so at some point, though, does she, is she responsible for these bees doing well, hey, this? Hey, the cops wouldn't have gotten stung if they would have just complied. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, but the once she shakes the hive, it, the bees have a mind of their own. That's right. right? It's That's a hive. I mean. Yeah, they're gonna come for her too. So, that, so she released them from a hive. Well, I don't. I think she has them. Maybe, and I'm gonna assume in like an old Tupperware tin. I don't think she's, she's got a just hive. Just opens them up. <laughs> this is a woman who keeps them. Got a beekeeper them. box. She's got. Wait. So she's she gotta have a soldier's so that makes can. Kind of a difference whether whether she. Is a was running around in a circle, comically trying to avoid the <laughs> cops, and then you know hit the <laughs> hit a thing with, hit a a stick. with a stick. Or let's get was, into it. Was she? You're gonna was n- it like a apiary? Is that it? An apiary. Yeah. Apiary yes. is a. That's a bird. I like thing, it. I'm right? going apiary. apiary. Maybe the apiary, apiary is, is a bee. And then yes. and then maybe she had an apiary, and and because she was a, w- a witch, but the good kind of witch, and then she yeah. made her own mm. honey. Yes. Her yeah. name is Rory S. Woods. Okay. Rory Scovel. <laughs> pleaded not guilty at her arraignment on October 12th in Springfield District Court. So in her brain, this is how it all goes down. You're going to mess with me? Yep. I release the bees. Yeah. 
Her lawyer did not immediately respond to a voicemail left by the Associated Press online. Which means he doesn't believe her. He is not on her side. Nope. <laughs> when you don't answer the voicemail well, from like, the Associated Press. If you press, believe that your client is completely on, uh, you answer talking. every voicemail. And if you're a lawyer, I mean, that's free publicity. But you're yeah. so off this woman that you're like, I don't even I, I don't want to answer any voicemails. Yeah. The Hampton County Sheriff's Department deputies went to a home on Long Meadow in the morning of October 12th and were met by protest protesters according to the official department report woods who lives in hadley soon arrived in an suv towing a trailer carrying beehives okay, okay. so she's got them with her she yeah, came to fight yeah. she, she yeah, brought yeah, it yeah, yeah. premeditated thought malice right. Right. premeditation to a fist fight that's <laughs> right report said she started shaking the hives mm-hmm. broke the cover off one causing hundreds of bees to swarm out and initially sting one deputy how do they know how do they know who's the bad? What about the protesters? Even bees know cops. Are That's bad. right. <laughs> bees. Even the bees. Even the bees. Know. Even the bees. Uh, Woods, who put on a beekeeper suit to protect herself, she, so they, knew. she, she came knew. prepared. She clearly this is premeditated. Yeah, yeah. This is why this guy's not, is her lawyer's not answering voicemails. Why would she plead not guilty to this? Was eventually handcuffed, but not before several more sheriff's department employees were stung, including three who were allergic to the bees, the report said. When Woods was told that several officers were allergic to the bees, she said, Oh, you're allergic? Good. That wow. was her quote. Okay. Wow. She doesn't care. That's a pretty she's good not quote. Around. No, she's right. not fucking around. I mean, what do you do, though? I she's, don't know. She clearly did something wrong. No, no. They. She showed up to a protest, I think, where... Trailer she knew full the of bees does sound like a scam. She knew band. the cops were going to come to shut this protest down and brought a bunch of bees, bees to... to the, mm-hmm. And again, put all the protesters who she's on their side in danger. Well, apparently, they just stung the cops. <laughs> so maybe they were trained. Maybe it's like a Ben Willard situation. Yeah, it's like yeah. we've... we yes. Ben, the two of us need look no more. Need bees no more. Right. Uh, Very good voice, dude. That is really beautiful. Like an angel. Hampton County I'm Sheriff kidding. Nick Cucci, Cochi okay. said Woods could have faced more serious charges if anything worse had happened to those stung. Yeah, I think that's why sure. she chose bees. Right. We had one staff member go to the hospital, and luckily he was all right. Said Cochi, we will get out of here on this. Okay. Wrap it's up the show. It's good. It is Cucci. Yeah. Um, excuse me. How old? is Rory S. Woods, the woman who drove a truck of bees, premeditated, put on a suit, put them in the shape of an arrow, and attacked the cops. I mean, as she's putting the bees mm-hmm, thing in the mm-hmm, trailer together, mm-hmm. she's definitely saying the phrase, gonna tell me. Gonna tell me what to do. tell me I can't come to a protest. Gonna tell me. I'm gonna jump in and go 53 years old. 53, Daniel says. kind of a Carol Baskin type of thing. Yes, she's Baskin-esque. Yeah, I'm gonna go 55. I'm gonna go, David. I think she's an older gal too. I think she's 64. 64. One of you is exactly right. <gasps> wow. So now we get to play the game. Who do you think is right? You're gonna stay on 55? Stay on stay 54. I'm staying on 53. I'm staying on 64. Okay. I'll David. switch over to 53. Okay. You're gonna switch to 53. Okay. okay. Uh, get your answers in. Go get tickets to see David. He's oh really one of the best Give stand-ups great in the world. He's someone we've loved forever and we're friends with him and that means a lot to us. Mm-hmm. And so please go support him any way you can. Thank you for being here with us on this show. Uh, and the answer is Rory S. Woods. I wish you would have stayed, Dave. 55 years <laughs> old. 55 year I old woman. Self confidence. Come on. <laughs> old enough to know better. 55. 55. Uh, all right, there you go. That's the show. Oh, That's the show. Yeah. We love you guys. Thanks so much. And oh shit, we got to get back to work, gang. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more to people town.